I will teach you everything you need to know about map awareness, all in one video. You will learn the principles to master map awareness, starting with Number 1. Understanding the importance of the map Other videos and guides will tell you to remember to look at the map. But in order to actually do it, and make it a normal habit, you need to understand why it's important to look at the map to actually be doing it. So, to help you understand the importance, I will tell you this. If you don't use the map, then you won't know a lot of important things, such as if you can split push safely or not, if your allies need your help, where the enemy is or isn't, and where to position yourself. But if you do use the map, you aren't dependent on random decisions you make during a match, and you know exactly about everything going on the map. Number 2. Knowing what to look for on the map. However, before you can make use of the map, you need to know what to look for on the map too, which is 1. The vision you have and don't have. This is important because it decides how you should play. For example, knowing the vision you have can decide if you can play aggressively or if you can take an objective before an enemy comes. Furthermore, knowing the vision you don't have will help you play safer. If you don't have vision on the enemies, that could mean they're coming for you. Or if you're actively aware that you don't have vision on certain areas, you should be careful when going there. 2. Your allies. Pay attention to your allies when you see them going deeper towards the enemy side of the map. That could indicate they want to try to contest something. Or if they're playing a bit too careless you could warn them, and use the chat, enemies missing, or follow them up, if they're trying to start a fight. 3. The enemies. See what they're up to, are they clearing the waves, which direction were they headed before they disappeared on the map. Paying attention to that can reveal their next moves, and will allow you to make better decisions, where you don't get surprised by an ambush. Number 3. Paying attention to which direction the enemy went before disappearing on the map. I mentioned this earlier, but now I will go into detail and show you an example. In this ranked game, I followed Bruno while paying attention to the map, where I could see the enemies Brody, Jaw Ed, and Granger. However, before they disappeared from the map, you could catch a small glimpse of which direction they were heading. Granger was on his way to the orange buff, and Brody and Jaw Ed seemed to be going to the bottom lane in order to clear the minion wave coming. So it was either Jaw Ed, Brody, or them both that would show up, and it turned out to be Brody. Not only is paying attention to which direction they went important for these types of situations, but it also makes camping the enemies easier because it can show you which bushes to camp at before they come. There are many scenarios that show this is important, and if you're a side laner or mid laner, paying attention to this can tell if the enemies are coming for you. Number 4. Assuming every bush is a threat on the map. Since we all probably are playing a lot of matches in a row, it will be difficult to constantly remain 100% focused all the time when it comes to paying attention to the map. Therefore, to improve your map awareness against enemies that are camping in bushes, I want you to just, whenever the enemies are missing, assume an enemy is camping in every single bush you pass by, so that you will play safer. When doing this, you won't have to think much or pay much attention to the map, even when you're tired. So when you encounter a bush, I want you if you can, to check if an enemy is there with your skill, or at least keep in mind that if an enemy is there, then you have some sort of backup, at least that allows you to not be that surprised if there is one, and you might have time to do something. Number 5. Within your mind, make constant guesses on where the enemies are on the map. Finally, the last step is a step that will continue to impact you even after finishing this video. During games, make constant guesses on where enemies could be at, and think of strong and logical reasons on why they'd be there where you think. Trust me when I say you'll improve a lot if you keep on having this mindset. You'll have better reasons for why they would be at the places they're at, and sooner or later most of your guesses will be correct. For example, imagine a scenario in the late game, where there's an enemy attempting to bait your team, meanwhile the whole enemy team is camping next in the bush. First I would wonder where the other enemies are, since the one enemy is alone by himself. Secondly, I would think to myself why he's just standing there, next to that suspicious bush. Third, I would think he's most likely baiting where his team is camping in that bush. This will improve your map awareness by a lot, and I know it will, because this is what I did to get better, where even good players accused me of map hacking. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video.